Welcome back. Now we're gonna be preparing your entree. It's a roasted sturgeon dish. The, st the sturgeon has been repped in speck. Speck is a type of uh, smoked ham that we've made in house from local pigs. Uh, we're gonna be serving it with a mustard nefla. Nefla is a type of spetzel. Fennel sauerkraut, made the same way as regular cabbage sauerkraut, but with shaved fennel instead, and a quince gastrique. A gastrique is essentially a sweet and sour sauce. So we're gonna warm up some pans here. You know, this is nice and hot. We'll put the sturgeon in. And again, we were trying to get that ham, some nice color on it on both sides. While that's continuing to brown and get going, we'll start the nephla. Again, the nephla, we've added a little bit of mustard to it to tie kind of all the flavors in the dish together. Kind of cover the pan so we can get a little bit of color on the bottom of that. And then next is the fennel sauerkraut. Some butter to this just to continue to release the nephla as well as color it. See, we're getting a nice color on that. A little bit of crispiness. So now we've kind of backed that off the heat a little bit, continue to get it crispy. Then we're gonna start poiling it with butter to, to finish roasting it. All of the charcuterie that we make at Old Town Social or the restaurant that you can see part of it here in the, in the spec, we make in house, but not only do we make it in house, we buy local whole animals from farmers that we trust. They're little, you know, little farms that we've cultivated relationships with for a long time now. The days of one-stop shopping, ordering all your meat and produce and canned goods from, from a, you know, a broadline purveyor, it's antiquated and it's not what we practice or what the public demands now. They demand certain things and it's better for all of us. Following a, a trend that's actually become popular again after hundreds of years is fermented foods. You're seeing it everywhere now. There's a famous book that was just, or a really popular book that was just released um, called The Art of Fermented Food. And you're seeing a, a trend in it, big time, not only in the industry, but at home, for home cooks too. And what we've done is just taken raw fennel and fermented it for about a month to sour it, and then braised it with onions, garlic, a little bit of duck fat, um, and some, so, as well as some of the ends from the smoked uh, prosciutto that we made. Adds a real nice base note to the finished dish. Sturgeon's a very meaty fish. It eats like a steak. You'll see when we're finished here, we're gonna slice it. And it really slices like a piece of meat, not necessarily like a piece of fish, you would think. Again, the sauce is a gastrique, which means sweet and sour, where we've got apple cider vinegar and quince paste, the, the famous uh, membrillo from Spain, adds the sweetness to the dish. The quince, the fennel, the mustard, and the smoked ham are kind of, kind of finding all a common note, flavors that really go together well. All right, and now we're ready to plate up all of the components that we were just cooking with the sturgeon. First thing we're gonna do is uh, take the fennel sauerkraut that we warmed. And just a little bit of that in the bottom of the bowl. Next is the mustard nephla that we crisped up. And then of course, we're gonna slice the sturgeon. Uh, the sturgeon, we do buy a farm dray sturgeon. We adhere to the Monterey Bay Aquarium seafood watch list, so we do not buy wild sturgeon. Take a little bit of uh, the quince gastrique that we were heating up. And then just to garnish, just a little of a salad some raw fennel again to reinforce the fennel flavor, and some pea tendrils that we get from Spence Farm. And here you have the spec wrapped sturgeon with fennel sauerkraut, mustard nephla, and quince gastrique. I've loved cooking for you guys tonight. Thank you so much for coming out to the dinner party. Hope to see you all again soon at our restaurant Nelco, 933 West Randolph in the West Loop of Chicago.